Yo, it's Daniel Ajayi, and today I'm gonna build a rocket. And this is for my AP Physics C class. Basically, we had to build some sort of rocket. It's not, it doesn't have to actually fly, but me being the extra kid that I am, I actually want my rocket to fly. Also, I'm not working with like a NASA type budget or anything. This is gonna be like a baking soda and vinegar rocket, but I've heard that they can go up to 100 feet in the air, which is pretty cool. So I'm still gonna try and build something along those lines. Alright, so I'm in my basement right now, which is probably where I'm going to construct this because my room is too messy and full of stuff. So the supplies I'm going to be using are this bottle of distilled white vinegar that I stole from my mom's kitchen. This box of pure baking soda that's probably like five years old, maybe. Maybe younger, maybe older. Who knows? This empty bottle of soda. This is going to be the body of the rocket. The next step, I think, is to wash this bottle out because it's still got soda residue in it and take off this little fanta thingy just to make it more aesthetic. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, so now the bottle is washed and the label's taken off and it's looking pretty hot. So now I'm gonna take pencils to it. Kind of like, this is gonna be the bottle. It's supposed to go If I take pencils, then I'll be able to like hold still. It's kind of like fins, so that way when it's flying, it keeps it that this part stays on the bottom instead of it turning upside down. So I brought my pencils, I think. I forgot the pencil. I gotta go all the way back upstairs and grab some pencils. <sighs> One minute, 37 seconds later. Got some pencils. So I have tape as well for taping the pencils. You know when the tape sticks to itself and then everything just gets messy? Like, ugh, oh, now my thumb is stuck in the middle of it. Come on now. Alright, I got a piece. Alright, this is kind of what I have in mind. This is one leg, and I think three is optimal because three points allows you to create a plane. So we have three points here. It kind of has a plane to sit on. All right, so what I'm thinking is taping the three like prongs with like individual pieces of tape, then another one going around the whole thing just for an extra layer of reinforcement. And my final piece of tape. One more layer of tape. Just because I'm gonna be really pissed off if one of the legs come off. Good. It's now stable on three prongs, like I expected. That's tough. Ooh, by the way, I'm actually wearing a shirt from Embry Riddle. They sent this to me. That's one of the colleges I got into. If you haven't watched my college decisions reaction video, what are you even like doing? Like, come on now, go we'll watch that. All right, so we have a roll of paper towels, got plastic wrap on it, and now baking soda, and I'm supposed to like pour this onto some paper towels. So my plan is just to wrap it up in like a couple of these, then just twist it to like kind of hold it like a little baggie, I guess and then drop them in this bottle with the vinegar. All right, so we got one paper towel with baking soda, and I'm gonna do my little twisty twist. All right, here's one. All right, so now I have three. I just need two more. All right, that's five. Now, for the stopper, I actually, I need to find something that's gonna hold the pressure really well. Because what's gonna be the best is something that like blocks this, but once like the pressure buildup in the rocket is really high, it just like comes out. Cause then it's gonna go pew, like really high. But I did see a video use a potato. So my plan is to get a potato and cut up the potato. So I'm gonna go grab a potato now. We have a sweet potato, so let's just chop it off. Now. And next, I'm going to need to pour in the vinegar. Then I'm going to drop in my little baking soda bombs. I guess we're gonna call them. Shake it up, shake it up really fast, then turn it upside down, put it on the ground, 
and wait for it to pop off. <laughs> cool. Okay, so we got a funnel from my kitchen, and I'm pouring in vinegar. That's plenty. All right, now I'm trying to take this outside. If it's too shaky, it doesn't exactly, work. and that's the problem you have. So. I, I mind you, mind you, that's so I'm so nervous, you guys, because a lot of things can go wrong. It's going to take some time, a lot of time. Are you gonna get them in quickly enough that it won't? Do you have to shake it? Yeah. I made them too big. It's already fizzing, you gotta hurry. So, what are the pencils for? No, 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 no. Damn. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Ready? <laughs> Wait, where is it? Oh my god. Well, I guess we can say it worked. <laughs> Well, I guess we can say it worked. Damn. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Ready? <laughs> Wait, where is it? Oh my god. Well, I guess we can say it worked. Well, I guess we can say it worked. No. Oh. No one could see it. Yo, I did see it. <laughs> y'all are y'all are clowns. I got to film it. I was just like, where to go? Bro. What, dude? I just looked up and it was like really high in the air. Actually, I'm really happy with that. That was better than what I expected, and it went a lot higher than I expected. None of our cameras were actually caught how high it went and the velocity was insane as well like no one um, it went it shot out of view of all of the cameras at one point and i did have to change my shirt it exploded all over me and got my shorts wet it got my shirt wet and vinegar got in my eyes which was actually surprisingly not as painful as you'd think so what i would say like were the biggest problems that the fact that the cork couldn't hold the pressure not even remotely close so there goes my sweet potato idea that was a fail it just didn't hold the pressure at all like as soon as i tried to let go it just it just came right out <laughs> and the pressure was a lot higher than anything i anticipated because i made five of the little baking soda bomb thingies and i only got two of them in and it was already about to like, it already was about to explode so high so yeah it's a really it's more powerful than I, I ever thought it's crazy and then getting in the baking soda effectively didn't work getting in the baking soda didn't work because i made them too big and it went really really high it was high it was higher than all of the trees nearby and we have some really tall trees um, around. So I'm really happy with how that went and I think I might do this again. Four, three, two, one. Everyone's a rocket, rev it up now.